am Margaret Weiss and I'm the co-author with Tracy Hickman of our new series that we're doing for Tor called Dragon Ships. And the first novel is Bones of the Dragon. Margaret and I have known each other for over a quarter of a century. We've been really good friends, actually. Bones of the Dragon is about Norse raiders. They're led by their war chief, a young man named Skyland, who is 17 years old. They travel in their uh, dragon proud ships, which are our inspiration, were the, the ships of the Vikings that had the dragon head prow. Uh, only our ships are magic in that the ship can actually become, is imbued with the spirit of the dragon, and the dragon helps to guide the ship, and uh, the dragon can actually be summoned by the tribe's bone priestess to come and fight for the, for the warriors. Well, the title of the book is Bones of the Dragon, of this first book of six. And it, uh, it sets up, in fact, the, the whole idea of these bones being the foundation of the world. And that the world itself is being fought over. If anything, I think it's probably best characterized as a modern odyssey. The five bones have kind of fallen into the wrong hands. And um, so it's going to be up to Skyland to endeavor to find the five bones of the Vecchia and bring them together in order to save their gods and their people. I create a lot uh, of detailed maps about the world uh, that usually extend from its creation up to the point where uh, our characters are alive. Uh, all characters come from history and, and are affected by their own myths and legends. So we work very hard uh, to make a world that's believable. What will attract readers, particularly in this series, is that our hero is, is very young. Um, he's uh, 17 years old and the same with his friends. They're all around 16, 17. We made Skyland 17 based on our research of the Norse people where men didn't live much past their mid-twenties. So the Viking culture was a very young culture and Skyland as a 17 year old he uh, hero is considered a man, he's the war chief, um, but he has the, he's kind of a typical 17 year old guy. He's very arrogant and he's handsome. He feels that he's blessed by the gods and he's always had everything he's ever wanted in his life. Hopefully in realistic ways, Margaret and I work very hard in the stories that we tell to not make things entirely black and white. If there is that good and evil aspect, and there usually is in the terms of epic fantasy, that the lines between um, what is good and what is bad um, are not easily discerned. One of the great things about fantasy is that it, is that it teaches us who we can be and who we should be. It's one of the reasons that I think that we both love writing it. I think that readers of this series are going to find themselves on a journey not just of the characters, but a journey of their own. This is a world that we're going to get to walk together. This is a journey that, that Margaret and I are going to take together and we get to bring so many people along with us.